All right, printing people, I am going to show you how to automatically arrange things on the print bed, load multiple objects. Uh, I'm also going to show you how to repair objects and how to cut if you need to cut an object in half because it's too big to fit it on the build platform, but you need to make it um, a set size, so uh, scaling it down isn't an option. All right, let's actually start with cutting something in half. So I'm going to load. I'm going to go to my dragon, because I know this thing is large here. It's going to say, hey, it's off the build platform. Do you want to put it on the platform? We'll click yes. We're going to go to edit. We're going to surface to platform. We'll double click on the bottom. Click back. OK, now, too big. In my last video, I scaled it down for you. Let's say that what we need to do instead is to cut. So I'm going to double click here. I'll select my model. Now I need to draw using my mouse and I'm just going to left click with my mouse and drag and draw. So now I have a line that I'm cutting across and you double click and voila it cuts it in half for you. Now it's best to choose somewhere if you actually have to do this. It's best to choose some place uh, where it's not going to be super noticeable. Now where I did it here, uh, it looks kind of funky. Let me try it in a slightly different spot. Let's go cut. We're going to select this model. We're going to draw across here. This is going to be a little bit better. And now we'll double click. Draw across and cut it. There we go. Now ah, that's a little bit better now. It doesn't look quite as funky. Now what I'm going to do here also, wait, actually I'm going to exit out of here because we don't need to do any more cutting. And I'm going to select these. Let's go to move. I will select the upper part and I'm just going to hit the delete key. And that has removed it from my build plate here. And then the last thing I would need to do is just I'm just going to auto arrange this, auto layout all, boom, it puts it right in the middle for me. Now I could print this, it's got some kind of weird thing hanging off over here, which won't, won't end well. Um, but yeah, but aside from that, uh, you could print it and then you could go in and you could take the other half, print the other half and glue them together if you had to. So that's how you use the cut option. Not an option you're probably going to be using a whole bunch, but that's how you use it. All right, uh, real fast on the loading multiple objects and auto arranging them. All you do to load multiple objects is click load more than once. Let me show you how that works. So I hit load. I'm going to load my rims. Now it says there's a problem with the rims. Do you want to repair it? Click repair. Okay, well that was easy, right? Um, if you are able, uh, ever unable to repair an object and you try to print anyway, you're probably going to run into problems. So if uh, you click repair and it says they weren't able to repair the model, it will probably take a 3D printing miracle um, for your stuff to print out right. So don't don't expect it to turn out right. Now I've got these guys on here. I'm going to click load again and I'm going to hit wheels. Look at that. Now I've loaded those. Now if I wanted to, I could keep loading stuff if I wanted to get crazy. I could be like, let's add the body of the truck too. Oh my gosh. Okay, well I've got all kinds of stuff here and I'm going to go edit. I'm going to go auto layout all. Look at that. Now I could print the truck, I could print the wheels, and I could print the rims all at once if I wanted to. Um, now why I won't is because it would take, it actually takes a lot longer to print things all at once because the printer has to travel all over and it just does things layer by layer so it does one layer here it does one layer here and then it goes all the way over here and does another layer uh, so it takes a lot longer but you notice how close the um, the objects are that's because not just because we have a lot of them but because let's say I was to get rid of this and let's say I'm gonna move these way over here if I go back here and go edit auto layout, they're going to put them back close to each other because it actually cuts down on your print time to have your objects close together. Um, so that's just a, a, a 3D printing top tip. Um, when you are printing multiple objects on the build plate, make sure they're really close together because it's going to cut down on your build time. Um, you may get a little bit of dripping between objects when you put them really super close together, um, but you've got some options in order to deal with that. All right, guys, that's just a simple overview of uh, loading multiple objects on the build plate, auto arranging them, and then also using your cut option. Okay, guys, hope that was helpful and happy 3D printing.